In today's video, we're pitting Yu-Gi-Oh's most iconic monsters against each other, Blue Eyes versus Dark Magician. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In this video, I will be doing something that I've never done before versus something that we do every day. What we're doing is we are opening up packs. That's the thing we do every day. But instead of searching for value or just, you know, opening up for specific cards, we're actually opening up two sides in a battle. Wait, we've done that before. But this time, it's not based on price. It's based on if we pull the most blue eyes or dark magician cards. So we have a few different sets. A couple of them are exclusively only able to pull blue eyes or dark magician cards, and some are able to pull both. We have packs like Ghost from the Past, the Second Haunting. This only has the Ghost Rare blue eyes, no dark magician cards. Then we have Ghost from the Past 1, which has the Ghost Rare dark magician. Then we have other packs such as Megaton 2022, which contain both. And finally, an explanation for stuff like Movie Pack Secret Edition. There are four different Blue Eyes cards and three different Dark Magician cards. The Blue Eyes cards say Blue Eyes in them. Dark Magician, I'm counting stuff like uh, Palladium Oracle Mahad and Dark Magician Girl toward the Dark Magician side because there was only one like specific Dark Magician card. That way there's three Dark Magician, four in here. So it kind of evens out when you get the Mega Tens, which have Dark Magician Girl in them. You know, it kind of works out so it's a little bit more fair. And the way we are scoring this is every time we pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon card or a Dark Magician card, it's worth one point. But if we happen to pull the Legendary Ghost Rares, it's three three points. The first to five points wins the battle, or if I run out of points, we tally the total points and the leader wins. And the giveaway for this video is an LOB Blue Eyes from 2017 and then an FL1 Secret Rare. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know will Dark Magician or Blue Eyes win this battle. So I started this off without my mic on. So the very beginning, just the first couple packs is not going to have my mic. It's going to have the iPhone audio, so it's going to sound weird, but it'll switch back pretty quick. I just redid all this so it should sound normal. Hopefully it's fine for you guys. Let's start off with a legendary ghost from the past too. So we're looking for five points for either Dark Magician or the Blue Eyes side. Out of here, we are going to have to get lucky because we're going to have to pull a Ghost Rare, which is going to be difficult. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's why it's worth three points because it is very, very rare to do that. Nine pillars and a number 97 Dragoobleon. That is not a Blue Eyes or a Dark Magician card, but you do use this in the Blue Eyes deck a lot of the time. Ghost from the past one. Let's try one of those. Then we'll get into something that has both Blue Eyes and Dark Magician cards. So we have a Metaphol's Silvered, Sunseed Shadow, Dragoonity Drafts, Hieratic Dragon, and a Dragoonity Amagram. So nothing out of those Ghosts from the past. It's pretty normal. It's pretty hard to pull those Ghost Rares. All right, so you already saw MVP one, but here's another thing that has both. We have a Megaton 2022. Both have alternate art Blue Eyes and Dark Magician inside, or at least these packs have both. Here are three packs. Let's start off. I am counting Dark Magician Girl in here as a Dark Magician because... MVP one has four different blue eyes cards and only three total dark magician cards. So in here we'll have two dark magician cards, one uh, blue eyes card. So we'll even out. So there's the same like chances for the most part. There's probably like slightly different because I have a few more MVP packs, but we'll try to even it out as we go. We have an Impin, we have a War Rock Skylar Ultra, Guy Armor Dragon Shell. Oh no way! It is fate. We are starting off with a blue eyes one. My mic has not been on the whole time, has it? Oh no. All right, so I noticed that my mic was not on. So that's unfortunate. We do have the phone audio, so you at least have a reaction. But that is insane. We put a blue eyes in the first pack. It's a sign. That's a beautiful looking blue eyes. Uh, okay, so I am going to be, uh, okay, very nice running through those. Now I got to go redo the intro so you guys can actually hear me. All right, guys, let's go back to a Ghost of the Past 2. Sorry about that audio thing, mostly to my editor because he had to he had to move around and maneuver. But my, my power went off yesterday and then it, does, it doesn't have your, you know, thing, your uh, mic automatically turned on. So I never even think about it anymore because it's always on. But it wasn't this time because our power turned off. So unfortunately that happened, but I think we got it figured out. So only a little bit of this video has weird audio, which is good, which is good. We used to do that all the time. That is a couple of ghost, you know, ghost share stuff that didn't happen. Yeah, we used to have stuff, uh, you know, issues with audio all the time and it was bad. I would just not turn on my mic, but fortunately that has mostly been fixed, but we're trying to fix that completely here. We have Meow's Click, we have Magic Key Unlocking, Black Eyes, we have a Ruxin Special. Right past the rear, we got Sunvine. I can't believe we already pulled a Blue Eyes. That was insane. Uh, we got a Frost, a Reinforcement of the Army's Troops, Stardust Trail, and... This is a good 10. Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. That doesn't count toward any points, but hey, that's a great pull for me. At least when I'm going to, you know, resell that later on TCG Player on my store, Ruxin. Go check it out if you guys haven't checked out my store on TCG Player. Or you just check out TCG Player. Use my TCG Player affiliate link down below. I don't know. Just an idea. Okay, so uh, that's been an incredible 10 so far. Both Secret Rares have been really good, but the story of the battle is Blue Eyes White Dragon 1, Dark Magician zero okay vampire saga i didn't do any of the uh, pack trick there i kind of forgot because dark magician or uh, dark magician i saw dark magician on the pack artwork ghost from the past one 
uh, doesn't have a pack trick, so that, that confuses me. We have a Sunrise Thrasher, so not only does it not have a, a pack trick, it doesn't have a Ghost Rider either. All right, final Mega Tin Pack here. Let's see what we can get. Will we be able to pull something interesting? Okay, come on. Come on, open up. So, so far, it's been very good secret rares. Let's see if we can continue that. Despian Comedy, Beach Trooper Landing. Let's get a Pot of Prosperity while we're at it. Gunkin, you and I, Thrawn. We have a Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Machina Rune Force is a very good card. Dark Infant at Ignister. Dimensional Shifter, ooh, okay. And then a Wonder Reason Magnificent Map. That is also a good card. Then some commons. All right, Ghost from the Past 1, let's see what you can do. I would be hyped if we actually got a Ghost Shirt pull in this, because we usually throw these in, you know, hoping for some epicness, and a lot of times it doesn't happen, but maybe this time it will. No, nope, that's just a Pendulum card. There's no Ghost Shirt Pendulums, or at least, are there any Ghost Shirt Pendulums? I can't even think of one. I don't think there is a Ghost Shirt Pendulum card. How is that possible? I guess... People don't like Pendulum. Well, I don't. <laughs> Starry Night. We have a Dragoonity Remus. Good card. Very good card, but not the droid we're looking for. All right. Now the heavy hitter's up. This is one that could uh, easily pull a lot of points. So, so far, it's one nothing Blue Eyes. It could end quickly. I mean, we could have an amazing special edition here that ends it pretty fast. Uh, these promos are not going to count because a lot of time it's going to be Blue Eyes Dark Magicians. A little bit too OP. Oh, wait. Actually, every time I think there's one in there. So, yeah. Those do not count. We're just going to open those up and uh, pretend like we didn't see this. MVP one, here we go. There's potential for like multiple blue eyes or multiple dark magician in these. So, uh, or at least points wise. There it is. I forgot about this one. Blue eyes has five potential. So there's a second point for blue eyes. Wow, Dark Magician is not looking good. That's an expensive card as well. We have Metamorph Fortress, Invention Guardian, and a Dark Magician, girl. They both got a point in that one. Okay, one point for Dark Magician, one point for Blue Eyes. Oh, man, 2-1 Blue Eyes right now. All right, Ghost from the Past 2. MVP, I mean, it could end quickly with MVP. I mean, you just saw there's two points in that pack. Chimera Tech, we have Prime Math Mech, Lepation. That's a good card. This is a card I forgot was in Ghost from the Past, but guess what? It's in there, so uh, there it is. I guess I forgot there was an extra one in Blue Eyes, so it makes sense. This is a, uh, that's like Dark Magician card. That's a point. It's two to two. I, there's more points in here than I thought. I probably should have made it more than five, but hey, we already said it. All right, because this is going like really quickly in terms of points, let's bring in our last one, Maximum Gold Eldorado, so at least gets its time in the sun. It's inside of here, you can pull both Blue Eyes and Dark Magician in the LOB art. Uh, I think that's the only cards. I think I could be wrong, but I think that's the only Blue Eyes and Dark Magician stuff. So we'll see. Maybe we'll pull them and just, you know, get it out of the way. We have a uh, Nightmare Unicorn. Good card. We have a Dragon Tempest uh, or Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. There we go. Okay, Ghost from the Past 2. We're going to get back to you because, uh, yeah, you're probably not going to pull something. But if we do, it actually ends the battle right now. Oh, we didn't do the pack trick because we have two points and three goes to five. I don't know if you guys can do the math there. That means that, okay, nothing there. That would be five points, which is the max amount of points, which is a little scary. We got a Rasha. Sunvine, Time Thief Startup, Sunsea Twin, and a Dragoonity Glow. All right, let's try another Maximum Gold in just a second. We have a Phantom Knights, we have Numeron, we have Super Heavy Express Bullet Train, the Prank Kids, we have a Destiny Plasma, Hydra Dragon Archfiend, and we've got a Zephyr Nui. Time to bring in our second Mega 10 2022. We already pulled a blue eyes out of here, so could be crazy stuff inside. Also, if you guys like this concept, you want to see it with more archetypes such as Red Eyes, Buster Blader, you know, all this stuff like that, maybe even like more new archetypes, let me know and we could potentially do this in other videos. I think it's going to be a little bit, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's all not more fun, but it's also fun to do stuff like this as a masquerade. So we could even do like branded or whatever and you get specific sets that might have them inside. And uh, just, it just switches up, which is pretty cool. We have a shifter. That's a good card. Brandon Bond, speaking of, and a forbidden droplet. Wow, this has been a good Mega Tin to us. Okay, or at least the second, these Mega Tins in general have been good. Okay, that's a pull, guys. We are pulling pretty nice so far. Um, it's two to two. I mean, I'm scared to go back to those movie packs because it might be over too soon. I don't want the video to be so short. So we'll revisit the movie packs in just a second. Uh, we have nothing out of that Ghost from the Past 2. Never scared to open up Ghost from the Past, Ghost from the Past 2 because we're never going to pull a Ghost here. <laughs> which, I mean, I say that. We've pulled a lot of Ghost Rares, but we have also opened a lot of packs, so it's a lot less likely. Majama Country, we have a Medulce Fresh Sis Start and a Starry Night Rail. I wouldn't be mad to pull a Ghost Rare or Dark Magician or Blue Eyes, though. That's how I see it. It's like, if it keeps going, good. I mean, the video's a little bit too short right now. If it doesn't, we got an awesome pull. Okay, let's do it. Let's revisit the Scary Movie Packs Secret Edition, not Special Edition. It was a Special Edition, but not Secret Edition. Here we go. We have a Deep Eyes White Dragon, so I'm glad that my audio... That's a point, by the way. I was like, glad my audio is working. There's a there's a point. D buys white dragon. Three to two. That is why I was scared of these. Magician's defense. 
Chocolate Magician Girl. I did not count these toward Dark Magician, but in theory, you might be able to. And then a Blade, Garudia, the Cubic Beast. So very cool secret rares there. I like that set a lot. It's very small, but it has a lot of cool secret rares. They look really good. All right, three to two, Blue Eyes is ahead. Maybe next time, I don't know, maybe I'll have a set amount of packs and just go and see who wins. Like, you know, if they just have, who has the most points at the end for all the packs I've opened. That would make sense. So I could kind of uh, understand how long my video is going to be, you know. Uh, Ojama Country, we have Mass Change, Middle Trade for Assist Start, but there's something fun about it being able to end, I guess. Evenly matched! Wow! We are pulling some good cards right now. Evenly matched and drop up pulled in this video. Not bad. Oh, and Ash, don't forget about that. All right, Mega 10, here we go. Let's see what you got inside. Can we get a Dark Magician card? Because that's what we need. They're down by one right now. We have Zora, we have Armed Dragon, Steel Star Regulator, Magic Key, a Flunderese at a Rux and Special. We have a Gambro Roaster, super rare. Trap Tricks, Galaria. Trap Tricks are big right now. Baby Mud Dragon Ultra, a Threshold Borg, and a Ready Fusion. This card was crazy uh, before it got reprinted, and now it is not so expensive anymore. Okay, I'm getting down to the last of the Ghosts from the Past, which is, uh, you know, it's a sad day, but that's okay. It happens. Got a couple more of these. We have a uh, Angel of Wisdom, Track Black. Alter guys, we have a Master Hyperion, and we have another Pendulum added again. Wait, somehow I've opened more Ghosts from the Past 2 than Ghosts from the Past 1. I'm not sure how that happened. Did I miscount the, the number of packs? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. We have a Rare Metaphors, cool. Artifact Durandal. Evil Thorn, nice Ultra Rare print. A Resonator Call, and a Starry Knight Rael. All right, Maximum Gold, it's your time to shine. Here we go. Let's get a Blue Eyes or Dark Magician. There's a Cypher and Lord Omega. New we're on Chaos. Altergeist. Silquitios. And a Nightmare Unicorn. Also a good card, but that was not a Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, so we're going to have to keep going. It's time to revisit the one, the only, MVP. If we get two Blue Eyes in this pack, it could be over. <sighs> okay, not a Blue Eyes. Not a Blue Eyes. Not a blue eyes. It is a dragon, but it's not a blue eyes. We have a bear magician girl. Also doesn't count as a dark magician. And uh, wow, an O for that time. No foils in that. Well, there were five foils, but none of the foils we're looking for. Uh, actually, let's do our last ghost from the past two. I'm gonna open this up, see if we can get a dark magician ghost rare, or sorry, a blue eyes ghost rare. I always wanna say dark magician, but that was in the first one. Shadow, we have Despot 001, Vampire Grace, Despian Comedy, and a Galaxy Soldier. Okay, Galaxy Soldier's not a bad card. Ghost from the past one. This is a very bent up pack, which means there might be five ghost rares inside. If we pull a five ghost rare pack, that'd be pretty epic. Because first of all, that'd be 15 points and it would be over. <laughs> Sunsea Genius, we have a Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade, Metaphors Mithrillium, Artifact Durandal, and a El Shadal Hollow from Halloween. 2022 Mega 10. Here we go. Gotta believe we can pull Dark Magician. We have Arm Dragon, we have Zexel. Beach Trooper Scarab Blommer, we got the Yamarumo, we have the Ida, the Sun Magician, the Corillus, Duh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherry Super Rare, not bad, Radiant, we got a Scrap Raptor Ultra, that's really nice, a Dark Honest Ultra, and uh, Branded Opening, a very good card for Branded, so if we were doing a Branded thing, I think we might have won already, we pulled a lot of Branded cards. Oh, and let's not forget another pack that I had, the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack, could pull Dark Magician, could pull Blue Eyes. I did not pull Dark Magician out of 100 mini boxes. I also did not pull Blue Well, I pulled one Blue Eyes. So, pretty unlikely that we do it, but maybe we make it happen. Basic Insect, not as good as the basic Picanio. Book of Secret Arts, Red Medicine, Dissolve Rock, Silver Fang, Mazurizame, Yame. We got a Goblin Secret Remedy and Lesser Dragon. We tried with LB, didn't happen. El Dorado, the Golden City. We have Weather Painter Thunder, Lost World. Danger Nessie, not bad. A uh, Weather Painter Snow, a Magical Dimension, and a Baguska. Very good card. And a Firewall Dragon. Hey, Firewall Support is coming out um, in the next set. All right, guys, back to the OP Secret Edition. Will, okay, it's 3-2. Okay, it slowed down a lot, actually. I mean, I thought uh, we might be in trouble with MVP just pulling a bunch of cards, but seems like that might not happen. We have a Movie Pack Secret. Let's start with this. Who's going to win? I feel like Blue Eyes has had the edge the whole time, but who knows? We have a Marsh Macaron. There's another Blue Eyes, a Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate. Same card we pulled earlier. They could end it now. There could be another Blue Eyes in here. Alternative or something like that. Dig a Destiny or just regular Blue Eyes. No, not yet. Four, two Blue Eyes is up. This is getting close. Well, it's getting close to the end. Not really that close. All right, let's open the rest of these packs. Let's see if it'll end right here. Unless Dark Magician has a crazy pack. Dark Magician, real Dark Magician. Some crazy stuff. We could end any second, guys. Oh, and a Deep Eyes White Dragon, and that is officially it. 
Blue Eyes White Dragon. We have pulled five Blue Eyes cards. And it looks like MVP kind of was the MVP here, if you know what I'm saying. But the biggest pull was this one, because this one wasn't so easy to pull. The Blue Eyes White Dragon alternate art. The, on the Dark Magician side, we didn't even pull a real Dark Magician. We got a Dark Magician Girl and a Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. So it was a valiant effort. It actually was a pretty fun opening. I think next time I might have a set amount of packs and go to like the end of the packs and then just see who's ahead. Maybe I'll do that next time. Let me know how you like this format, if you want to change it up a little bit, any suggestions, and uh, if you want to see it again. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DeAnda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.